Hi, I'm Elisa Rock, and I'm FlexSim's technical writer. I'm excited to announce that after more than a year and a half of hard work, we're unveiling a completely new version of the user manual for FlexSim. So let's take a tour of the new manual. In general, the biggest change is that the new manual is more user-focused. In order to be more user-friendly, the new manual is task-oriented, which means it's focused on the specific tasks that you're trying to accomplish while you're using the software. In other words, the manual is designed to help users solve the workplace problems that they're trying to solve with simulation. For that reason, the overall organization is based on the common tasks that are involved in building a simulation model from beginning to end. Each chapter teaches the key concepts involved in each phase of the model building process, providing step-by-step -step instructions about how to accomplish the tasks during that phase. So that's the general philosophy behind the new manual. Let's talk about what this means in more specific terms. One big change is that we've updated the user manual's overall graphic design to make it more user-friendly. Most topics will contain a mini table of contents to allow users to quickly scan the content. The new warning and tip boxes pop off the page more because they're more visually appealing. And the tutorials have clearer headings that make it much easier to process the information being presented. The second big change is that the content has been reorganized to make it more task-oriented, as I discussed earlier. The tutorials are at the beginning of the manual because our users consistently tell us that the tutorials are the most important content to them. Our users value high-quality tutorials, so we here at Flexim value them too. After that, the main body of the tutorial is organized so that the tasks and concepts are presented in roughly the same order that you would build a simulation model. Each chapter explains key concepts and gives step-by-step -step instructions about how to complete common model building tasks. At the end of the manual is the reference section. This section is for advanced users who want to understand FlexSim on a deeper level. The new manual also has some new tutorials. Many of the best tutorials from the old manual are included in the new manual, along with at least four new high-quality tutorials covering things like the new statistics collector, conveyors, and process flow instances. It's also worth mentioning that much of the old content has been rewritten to improve communication generally. The overall goal is to make the writing less abstract and more concrete, which will improve its overall clarity. But really, this is just the beginning of good changes being made to the manual. It's still a work in progress, and this is just the first step in the right direction. We have lots of great content planned for the future. We're going to really focus on putting out high-quality tutorials, as well as adding more chapters to the core manual that will cover topics such as troubleshooting, a simulation model, and coding in Flexim. So continue to check the user manual for more updates in the future.